In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a free virtual instrument I made for contact that I call Tension Pads. It includes a number of patches I created for myself and I've used them over the years on various projects. The reason I'm giving these away for free is because I've noticed that a lot of young composers tend to lean much more heavily on the orchestra to communicate story or emotion and they seem to have less experience in creating or using non-traditional elements like sound design. I've especially found this to be the case for composers who have gone through a more traditional education system to learn about music and film scoring. Throughout my career, I have found that this style of scoring is increasingly sought after by productions. I've sometimes heard it described by directors or producers as feeling more grounded. So I'm giving away this free instrument in hopes that the patches will inspire composers that may be interested in experimenting outside of traditional tones, but aren't quite sure where to get started. If you'd like to get a copy, just head over to my educational website, modernmediacomposer.com, and enter your email at the top of the page. You'll automatically be sent the instrument in addition to lots of other materials such as educational videos and over time, other virtual instruments that I feel are useful or helpful for composers to have. For the rest of this video, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the instrument and I'll share how I've used these sounds on various projects and give you a taste of the different pads that are are included. So let's do a brief overview of the instrument. The patches from Tension Pads have been created from organic or analog source material that I've personally processed and mixed through a series of my favorite effects chains. You can select the different pads using the drop down menu in the center of the instrument. Each patch has two emotional states. The first is a calmer, more subtle sound, which then transforms as you move the tension effects knob to introduce custom effects processing. The tension knob is controlled by the breath controller, otherwise known as MIDI CC2, but it can be customized to whatever CC you wish by simply right-clicking and assigning a new controller. Likewise, the filter on the left comes pre-written to the mod wheel or CC1, but can also be adjusted based on your MIDI preferences. This allows for each individual patch to take you through different moods, which can be helpful when using these tension pads to score a dynamic scene. The effects chain built into the back end of each patch has also been designed so that a single sound can be used to move from subtle emotional moments to more intense psychological drama. The space and shine fader in the center controls a custom designed room and reverb tone that can help smear the sound and produce a more atmospheric effect. At the bottom of the interface, there are two pulse knobs, which will turn any pad into a tempo synced tremolator. This is another example of how simple adjustments on the interface will allow you to take a single sound and mold it into countless scoring moments. Lastly, you can adjust the attack and release of each sound, giving you the freedom to turn evocative pads into playable keys for further sonic exploration. Now that you're familiar with the interface, Let's listen to the sounds and I'll share some thoughts about how I like to use them in my own scores. So I'm just gonna run you guys through a couple of patches that are included here. I think there's between 10 and 12 in total. I'm not gonna go through all of them since it is a free instrument. You can just obviously get them and preview it yourself, but I wanna show you how I use some of them and just give you some ideas to kick off with. So the first patch here is called Psycho Patient and it's got a really cool vibe, at least I think so. Let's take a listen and see how it sounds. So that's a great example of how things can evolve using this instrument. Basically, we started out with the tension knob all the way down, the filter all the way down. I gradually brought the filter up, then I brought in the tension, and then what you heard was this cool thing of how we put the effects on the back end of the instrument, where if you bring the filter down with the tension up, the distortion that's being introduced through the tension knob is actually not being filtered the same way, and so you get this other instrument
which is basically just like this unsettling, bubbling distortion that just kind of simmers at the bottom. And so that's kind of a way that this instrument is able to demonstrate just how moldable it is to different moments and different scenes and stuff. You've basically got, as far as I'm concerned, uh, multiple sounds with each patch. If we were to then put this pulse knob up here, You can hear that you can further explore and add the rhythm and some pacing, and it's really, really effective, especially for scenes that are dramatic and have this sort of tension thread that starts off really thin and builds to something a lot more aggressive. So let's take a look at another patch now. This one's cool, this one's called Concentrated, and what you're gonna notice, there's two patches here where I've included a duplicate, but it's labeled with Sync, and that's because although you have the pulse knob here, where you can add the tremolator. The actual patches themselves have this sort of built-in, almost rhythmic sort of LFO to it, and I wanted you to be able to just sync that if you wanted and have the original sound without any pulse knob being touched and have that be able to be a rhythm in and of itself. So if we listen to Concentrated on its own, actually, check this out. So that's a cool sound, but then if we choose the sync option, it's going to sync that rhythm that's sort of built into the patch right to our sequencer. So you'll hear how that slowed down in this case, the actual sound of the original file. So that's what the sync versions do. And I think it's really effective. It gives you sort of uh, more to work with, but if you wanted to go into the original one and you could add the pulse knob, And you can basically play around and find whatever the right rhythm and pacing is for your scene or your cue. So let's check out another sound here. This one I really love. This is Tension Bows. This one was created using various articulations from my guitar viol and a bowed acoustic guitar. And we sort of spread out different takes all the way across the keyboard to create a realistic sound, but that also has sort of this synthetic patty vibe to it as well. So if we listen to this and we'll put the tension all the way down. So that's really nice. That's got a really beautiful and more subtle tone. What really, really is cool about this patch is the tension effects. It's subtle, but it makes, to me, uh, a really sort of interesting layer that helps move a scene along. And so I'm gonna introduce the tension effects, which gives you this sort of like artificial bend into the patch, and it's really cool. Check it out.
So as you can hear, that's really dynamic. You can go from a more subtle moment to something that's a lot more unsettling with just turning of these two knobs here. I think that that has a really, really moldable sound to a lot of different applications. So I, I personally use it all the time. Let's keep going here. Let's check out one more here. So that's Tension Pads. Again, this is a free instrument that I created and am releasing with the hopes that it will encourage composers to think about scoring not just in the traditional sense with the orchestra, but through sound design. My goal is for it to inspire you to go out and begin making your own unique sounds that are expressive of your individual voice as an artist. If you'd like to receive more content like this in the form of tools for scoring or educational videos, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Doing so allows me to continue making content just like this. If you haven't yet downloaded this virtual instrument, it's currently free on my educational website, modernmediacomposer.com. Just head over there, enter your email, and you'll instantly be sent the instrument. I have loved using these sounds for years on many films and television series. I hope now that they will become a valuable part of your creative arsenal. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and check out Tension Pads. As always, I hope it's been helpful.